everyone, welcome to my best of 2014. It's a couple of weeks into January, but hey, at least it's still January, so I'm doing better than last year when I didn't film any. Haha. -ha. I thought it would be fun to. I just want to see if my list is. Yeah, I just want. I'm looking at my list. I thought it would be fun to list them in the order that things popped into my head because when I was thinking of doing favourites I didn't want it to be full of skincare because I trial so much skincare that to make it to the favourite stage I thought I have to use it at least once or twice a week because um, I was being quite strict. So I'm going to kick off with my first choice. I've got my Sorry, I'm trying to keep my uh, eye on the list. My first choice is something I wore every day I wore makeup which is Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Sex on Fire I've had this in videos before where I did the joke about your sex being on fire but it is beautiful pink with a sort of she does a swish and a pop yeah swish and a pop so you do the outer here and then you do you're supposed to do the bit of blob of colour there um, I love this blusher it has easily replaced NARS Sin, which I wore for years and years and years. So that was the first thing that came into my head, which I thought was random, but then I thought, well, I do use it nearly every day, so. Um, next up is skincare, and it is Sunday Riley Artemis. This was an addition to the oil range. It followed Juno, and it came along with Isis, which is also beautiful, but I used Artemis more. Artemis is prone, is made for a sort of combination acne, oily prone skin, but it has an amazing effect on every skin type because it's clarifying. If you use it on a drier skin, you get a beautiful glow. So it's actually perfect. I use this more in the mornings under a moisturizer than in the evenings, which is strange, but true. Um, smells beautiful. It smells a beautiful lemon and lemon myrtle and lemon bark. Really light, really, really, glowy I'm saying all words that don't end in Y but putting a Y in them beautifully glowy lovely lovely <laughs> um, next up is another oh, why did I put it so far away oh my god where did I put it oh my god where is it next up is a another skincare item and probably my favorite discovery of last year brand wise it's May Lindstrom blue cocoon and boy is it blue properly gorgeous blue it oh god it's like taking a hit not that I would know what that is like work with me um thick thick balm really really like almost crispy until as soon as you touch it it melts I sleep in it so I would sometimes use this underneath no on top of this this first then this or this on its own I don't wear this under makeup it's too greasy but it's beautiful for overnight so if you're traveling a lot if you're just tired if you're just working hard if your face just needs a bit of a bump really recommend checking this out if you have redness rosacea sort of stressed skin oh love it next up is what I felt were the best lipstick launches of last year and there wasn't really much competition these sprang straight into my head Estee Lauder pure envy these colors are the three I wore the most defiant coral ambitious pink and daring and this Lauder did a few things with genius last year signing Kendall Jenner stroke of genius if you ask me you get the um oh sorry i'm just trying to get the colors out look at these oh da, 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 da. oh pretty pretty you with the Ken kendall jenner you get the kardashian connection <laughs> with no lady garden on a sex tape oh, did i just say that yeah i did okay um and she's young and she's beautiful but she's not and i know this sounds really awful but she's not She's not what I expected. You know, with Lauder, I usually think sort of blonde corporate. Does that sound right? I don't mean it in a bad way. I just was really nicely surprised. So they did, they put Kendall Jenner out as the face of Estee Lauder and they released these Pure Envy lipsticks. Easily 
since they came out, my first choice of, oh, I need some colour, what should I look at? And let's do these. Now, there were some really good others. Some really good colours came from other brands. Why can't I talk? Including ones that I'm going to show you in a minute. That's more of a brand picture. Um, and Lipstick Queen as well did some beautiful colours. But these just pipped them to the post. So Pure Envy is Lipsticks of the Year, if that is a thing. Is this like a beauty Oscars? Is that a thing? Okay, next up. Oh. <sighs> Show Beauty Working Texture Spray. This is a surprise to me. Show Beauty don't make shampoo and conditioner. They only do styling products. And this, I just didn't know what to do with it. And then I used it and now I don't like to be without it. It's like a really, really sophisticated surf spray um, or sea salt spray, but there's no crispiness, no chunkiness. It just gives your hair some oomph where perhaps you didn't have any oomph. Um, the whole line has the same fragrance. In fact, they make a hair, a separate hair fragrance, oh, which I really like. Um, so yeah, it, a weird one not to be expected i've never really been particularly loyal to hair products but i'm particularly obsessed with working texture spray next up is hmm, no surprise to those of you who watch beauty vlogs hourglass and it's ambient powder in this is radiant light da, 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 it's so pretty um i don't want to keep doing that voice it's like i'm speaking to one of the kids or the cats pretty um i know that the trios were really popular in the blogging world i went into store and spent oh, so long in duke of york space nk thanks zara for being so patient um for playing with them because i thought oh well everyone loves the trios maybe it's blah 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 and they, the colors just didn't sit that great on my skin tone which is sort of a sallow olive <laughs> um this one however did what it said on the box which is radiance. <laughs> um, so Hourglass Radiant Light, I use it as a mixture of, uh, not so much as a face powder, just sort of a bit here and there to go vroom. I do that vroom a lot, that's something I should maybe look into, but yes, Hourglass, gorgeous. I have two from this next one because I couldn't decide. The name that's been on the blog, along with some obvious ones that, you know, need no names, but the name that's been on the blog a lot and definitely in my Instagram this year. It's for a green packaging. And I know you're all going, hmm, we know what it is. Tata Harper, oh, lovely. Um, and I couldn't decide. Purifying cleanser, regenerating cleanser. So they're both going in. They're actually both quite strong and you couldn't use them both every day. Um, I don't mean both, I mean one, the same one every day. I couldn't anyway. The regenerating one has the grit so you get a gorgeous feel afterwards but it would be too much for me every day. And the purifying I just use when I don't necessarily feel greasy but maybe just feel a bit dirty or a bit ugh. <laughs> um, but they are both gorgeous and it was hard to choose from Tata Harper because I've also used the eye cream a lot, I've used up the moisturiser and the spritz. So well done TH. Um, next one is a strange one but what can you do? Um, so from Glory, butter yourself. This came to the game late, I think I only got this in December in the big one kit they give away in boots at uh, Christmas time and I'd used Righteous Butter forever and I prefer this one. It's less um, messy with the hand because you can do a pump straight into the palm of the hand instead of just, um, let's have a, oh look, oh. You can tell I'm playing with the focus on the camera, I'm sorry, I'll digress, stop doing it. Um, yeah, it's easier to use, you get the same level of absorbency and if anything I find this rubs in quicker. So, I don't know, what makes me laugh though is it being uh, soap and glory. This, the fragrance description is <laughs> interesting with notes of frozen yuzu, orange oil green fig and jungle pomelo. I'm rubbing jungle pomelo all over myself apparently. Best we move on from there I feel. Next up, after I thought of that I thought well what was the, what's the exact opposite of that? What do I do if I want real luxury for the body? And it is da, 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 creme de la mer 
the body cream. Simple. Um, this is the opposite. It's a thick, gloopy, not going anywhere. But when you actually use it, oh, can you hear that? It's like a satisfying noise when you do it as well. When you actually put it on, it absorbs straight away. So, and I love, love, love the smell. So, bit of a bargain hunt and a bit more luxury. If you have any birthdays coming up or someone, a relative, female relative does, what? Obviously, I'm not being sexist, men can use it too, but when I think of giving a body cream, I would usually give it to a woman. Um, this one is, oh, they're both gorgeous, but this just gives that, oh, and they've just done the ads with um, Olivia Palermo and her husband. I don't know why, they could have used me. <laughs> Whatever, a bit rude. Um, some hair products. These are possibly my favourite shampoo and conditioner I've ever used. Big statement, but these by OGX, which were formerly organics, Kukui oil, shampoo and conditioner. Obviously the, sh the conditioner's empty, the shampoo still has about a third of it left. Um, they're supposed to be hydrating and defrizzing. They just make your hair feel really light not squeaky clean because we're not mice we're not supposed to squeak really light and sort of like there's air between the strands so basically not silicone not heavy not weighed down and you can put a brush straight through your hair straight afterwards and being sold in supermarkets and in the states they're in Ulta and all those places in in the UK especially they're nearly always on offer like two for seven or buy one get one half price or anything like that so unexpected find but loved them and when I put them on the blog quite a few people left comments saying oh my god I have the coconut one they're amazing da 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 so it was a popular choice and I can see why because I loved them nearly done actually two one more oh one more after this this was unexpected Carastars After Sun I grabbed this because I have a sort of hair what I call hair bucket in the hallway and I'd run out of my sort of ends thing does that make any sense? I'm sure it does to people who do their hair. Um, and I grabbed this. I thought, oh, it says after sun, and I was in a hurry, so I grabbed it. And it is beautiful. It hydrates. It doesn't make it go sticky or crispy. It stops the frizz, but it doesn't weigh it down. So between this and this, so make your hair light with this. Oh, yeah. Condition with this. Add a bit of this. Spritz a bit of this at the roots. Bob's your uncle. Ah! I said it again never mind I'll try and put that to bed for 2014 along with the product so no more Bob's your uncle because I did get quite a few Americans saying I don't know what Bob's your uncle means but I like it um, and I'm totally allowed to do an American accent my mother's American so don't start on me um, two left one is my favorite lip gloss primarily because the colors available and the applicator and it is Zellens and this is coral which i like keep it simple but what i love and i'll try and show you against a darkened background like my mirror is the applicator i don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a long bendy sponge like that sorry hmm yeah it's it's just minty and it's fresh and it's really simple and the colours are like pink, purpley pink, red, coral, light pink. Like gorgeous wearable colours for most skin tones, skin colours, um, skin types. Skin types? Why would you worry about your skin type when you're choosing a lip gloss? For most skin tones. Um, and this is Zellens, the colour range that launched this year. Love this and this is by far my favourite colour. And finally, see I told you it wasn't that long, my sort of launch of the year if you like, and one I couldn't pick only one from, which probably won't be a surprise to those of you who've read the blog and know what's coming, is <gasps> Delilah. Um, I like it when a brand does something well. So Charlotte Tilbury did it a couple of years ago, Delilah did it last year, they're still not everywhere. They're still extremely new, but the packaging is amazing, the quality is amazing, the colours are amazing. Um, so, things like bronzer, but look at this packaging, it's just, oh, clunk. 
brilliant brushes just this is my sort of bronzer stroke powder brush of choice can you see how big that is now hang on there we go um lip products so their gloss is a very similar bendy sponge to the zellens one and the colors again are amazing but zellens pipped them to post with coral <laughs> and the lipsticks were on the blog and on my on youtube as my favorites my favorite was vintage which was um i look like i'm trying to stop a tram or something i'm like stop just trying to get the coloring um vintage which was the gorgeous deep red and let's face it the best name for a lipstick ever vintage and then my most used concealer last year which you can tell by the look of it sorry can you see this one is creamy what's it called cream concealer farewell cream concealer and my color is barley and it's just one of those you just draw it on wherever blend it through and it's gone so delilah kind of <sighs> one of my favorite launches as a brand from last year and my last one is a weird one it is ha, ha, my autofocus is going to go crazy look boo, ha, boo um it's a silk pillowcase which was on the blog yesterday being the beginning of jan you'll see it um and i was doubtful i was doubtful and dubious about what having a silk pillowcase would do for my skin and I'm not really bothered about the hair because sometimes you know I can see why people who have really thick curly hair that tangles would appreciate sleeping on this for me it was all about the skin so you know I've spoken in the blog in the past about having you get those sort of like cystic reactionary zits around the jawline since I've been using this I haven't had one now could be a spooky coincidence but when you get sort of one a week randomly for no particular reason mine are usually food allergy related and they just sort of get really hot and swollen they don't really come to a head but they just sit there for days and days and that turns into weeks and they don't come to a head and then they scar so i know a lot of you get the similar thing because you've told me on all of my forms of social media this little silk pillowcase has been completely life-changing in like three four weeks three four weeks anyway that rounds up my best of 2014 so from me and the comfiest pillowcase on earth thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my youtube launch in 2014 um i am going to try and do at least one video a week probably going live on sunday mornings as this one will um and then just grow from there I appreciate your patience i appreciate all of you who entered the 12 days of giveaways in december they were a massive success and i look forward to seeing you this time next week bye